Today's April 25th, 2019, and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm Greg Bradbury. Here's what you need to know. The university has named the two senior class marshals for the class of 2020. Junior Serena Omo Lamai and Kyle Rosenblum will lead their class at next year's commencement, and they will spend next year participating in events throughout the year. Junior Emerson Womble was also named the senior class marshal alternate. And the latest in the 2020 race for the presidency. Former Vice President Joe Biden is officially launching his third bid for the presidency. Syracuse Law School alum made short-lived bids at the Oval Office in 1988 and 2008 while still a senator from Delaware. His announcement video released this morning took direct aim at President Trump. I believe history will look back on four years of this president and all he embraces as an aberrant moment in time. But if we give Donald Trump eight years in the White House, he will forever and fundamentally alter the character of this nation, who we are. And I cannot stand by and watch that happen. Biden is now the 21st candidate to join the crowded Democratic primary field. Notably, Senator Bernie Sanders is finishing second in most primary polls, with South, South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg trailing in third. And new details on North Korea's detention of American college student Otto Warmbier. North Korea reportedly sent the U.S. a $2 million medical bill for Warmbier's uh, medical care before his release back in 2017. Warren Beer was in North Korean custody for a year and a half before dying shortly after his return to the United States. The U.S. did not pay the bill. And taking a live look at Armory Square, the sun is out in Syracuse right now. But for those planning on going to Mayfest, the forecast is not looking great for tomorrow. There's a 50-50 shot that rain will be falling during the festivities. And that's all the time we have for you on Citrus TV Now for this semester. For the final time, I'm Greg Bradbury. Have a great summer, and we'll see you in the fall.